Hey, how's it going? I'm Ben, I'm a paddlehead. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install runners on a Pelican sled. Don't worry, just like you, I watched a couple of YouTube videos on how to do this, but unlike you, I'm going to read the instructions. So this is the Pelican 60 Trek, and these are runner, the runners for it. Looks like there's a slight bend in them already, but we gotta put a bigger bend in them. All right. Don't need that. But what we do need, we need a drill, we need a bit, uh, 330 seconds, which I happen to be missing, so let's see if I can find one of those. And we need a heat gun or a uh, hair dryer will make this easier, but this is not necessary, apparently. It's not mentioned in the instructions, but in just about every video I watched, you can use a heat gun or a hair dryer. We'll get to that. And you're gonna need a tape measure, which I don't have. Let's get that. Oh, what, were you expecting like some kind of fancy editing trick there? No, anyways. So, got my tape measure, got my 330 seconds drill bit, and it came with some self-tapping screws. Okay, so first step, let's get the drill bit into here. We gotta measure a half an inch from the end of each of these and drill a hole. Well, I didn't think this through. I got a red marker to mark a red piece of plastic. I think I can manage. You don't need to go all the way through. Just go until you start seeing a little bit of that white plastic and then stop. We're just doing pilot holes. All right, next step. Let's get this up here. This is gonna work. <laughs> just barely. All right, this might fall down. <laughs> Conveniently on the Pelican sled, there's these little divots all throughout the, uh, where the runners are gonna go. So go ahead and just use that 3 16 bit and pre-drill all of those holes. Okay, we're done drilling. We're gonna be screwing next. They recommend that you don't use a electric screwdriver. I assume they also imply a drill as well by that. But I'm gonna just uh, do what I want. The reason they don't want you using a electric drill is because uh, you can over tighten these screws and all of a sudden you'll strip the plastic in the holes and they're not gonna hold the runner on the bottom. And that's not good, obviously. So on some drills, you actually have a little dial here and you can change what torque essentially you want to apply to the screw. And then uh, once it gets to that torque, it'll, it'll stop. It won't tighten anymore. Um, it'll just kind of click like that. So we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna play by feel, and uh, yeah. So it's gonna be a little awkward. So take your first runner, find the end that you pre-drilled. This should be obvious, but maybe it's not. Red side goes against the sled, and uh, that hole that you pre-drilled in the runner is going to start at the, uh, the part of the sled that bends. So we're gonna get that screwed in first, and then we're gonna bend it around. This is gonna be awkward. So these self-tapping screws are, is actually a Robert's bit, the square one, if you're not sure what that means. And the reason why that matters is that screws will actually stay on the end of a Robertson bit better. See, I can put the, uh, the Roberts, the square size screw on the end there. So this part is awkward, confirmed. Did you hear the drill click? I'm just gonna tighten it a little bit more. Once you have the first screw in, you're going to bend this around here. But you know what? I like the idea of using a heat gun, so then we're not kind of forcing any plastic, especially because it's a little cold right now and likely brittle. I mean, look at that cord. Of course it's cold out here. <laughs> I can tell it's, it's getting a little bit more pliable. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for it. I'm going for it. We're in business. So once you get that second screw in, I think that's gonna be the most tricky part is just getting that bend and getting those two screws in and then you put the rest of the screws in for the runner and that's it. So let's do that and then we'll switch to the other runners. And rinse and repeat. I 
right, well there you have it. That's how you install runners on a Pelican ice sled. Uh, if you want to see me take this out on some ice fishing adventures or some uh, winter camping adventures, make sure you check out more videos on this channel. If you want to see what I actually carry around in this sled, uh, check out this video right here. And I'll just go through all the stuff and how I pack my sled. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that. We'll catch you later.